In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Kodoba Kia Hexagear Abyss Crawler Model Kit. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright boys and girls, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Hexagear Abyss Crawler from Kotobukiya. This of course is in 124 scale like all the other Hexagear. Again, you have that kind of dark grungy uh, artwork that's on the box. Really cool, very weathered. Um, I think it's really cool. Taking a look at this side over here, you get a breakdown of all the parts. You get well customized I guess, uh, customized with Hexagear all sold separately. Only Abyssal Crawler is included, so I guess this is why it ends up looking... Oh, so these are parts for the other kit that I ended up reviewing. Uh, Hexgram, I think these are a runner of parts that come with it so that you can combine them. You get all your warnings over here. Over on this side over here, you get a shot of the Abyss Crawler. First form, second form, weapons. I guess this is ejecting the little biter or claw thing that's on there and hexagear and governor. Taking a look at the assembly manual. As with the others, this is a trifold open so you get your color guide down here. You get some shots of it. You get your runner layout, your do's and don'ts, and then you get a breakdown of the build. Continuation with the building over here. You get a bunch of frame parts that end up going together, some pipes, some bits, some bobs. More building over here. You looks almost like a roll cage over here and I think that's what it's intended to be. More building over here. Some building, I'm going to assume that these are going to be the legs. More of that. You get building of the weapons over here. This thing looks pretty damn cool. Center of the booklet, you get a breakdown of the different colors that you can end up doing. Some story that you can use Google Translate to translate. Here you have continuation of building the weapons on here. Building the arm that it attaches to. Here you looks like you have final assembly attaching all of the legs of the weapon. Attaching the shields. Showing the gimmick for the weapon. Showing you how to put the governor on. And then this looks like it's for part of the conversion on here. So I'm going to assume that's what it is. This is what it's going to look like. You get this little weapon thing. I'm not sure where that is, but it attaches by a, I've already seen it. It's a cable with a wire inside of it. So you can end up doing that with it. You get some other shots in different poses, uh, I guess with customization on here. Back shot of the instruction manual. You get a data card that is completely in Japanese on the backside. You get an order manual if you need extra parts. Runner A is going to be kind of a longer one and these are going to be looks like frame parts, joint parts, a lot of joint parts on here. And these are going to be in that metallic gunmetal color. Runner B there's two of and these are going to be in that bluish gray, a little bit darker. Runner C there's actually four of and I think these are going to be a majority of your parts for the legs. Uh, you get little joints over here. I'm assuming for putting pieces together, you get all of these, which I think are for the legs. You get some little claws for the legs. Runner D, there's one of, and again, all of these are going to be in that gunmetal y color with the injected glitter in there. Very cool, very Kodo Bukia like. Runner E, there's two of. These, I'm going to assume, are more parts for the legs because there's just multiple, like there's six, and there's, so there's six legs. So, yeah, very interesting. This is going to be kind of interesting. I've like I said, I've said many times already, I'm sure. Uh, I haven't built one of these. I have no, like, I don't know anything about them, but it seems kind of cool. Runner F, this is going to be in a white, except for you have runner F is going to be all in white, except for this one piece down here. And I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but the little eyes, they are already colored and they are yellow. Runner G, this is going to be in a, this is going to be in a darker bluish gray. Runner H is going to be in a clear orange. This is going to be the blade for the weapon and the monitor screen. Runner I, this is going to be in a bright canary yellow. Like this is super bright. J again is going to be in that. This is going to be in a greenish gray color. Runner K, this is going to be the shield pieces and it has the lines already in there. Very cool how it's molded and everything. I really like that effect. Runner L, this is going to be the biggest runner that's in here, mostly because it's exterior pieces, but you have a lot of armor pieces, a lot of detail on here, little panel lines, things like that. Very, very cool. 
Render M is going to be in that same color and just looks like some ball joints and some joint pieces on here. Now I'm going to call this rudder P because all there is is the symbol that's up on the corner. It doesn't have a letter associated with it, but I'm just going to say it's letter P and these are going to be, there's two of them and these are going to be all joining pieces. Like there's a bunch of sockets and joint pieces on here. So I'm not sure if this is for the conversion or if it's for the actual build itself. You get one small runner of poly caps and one wire and one bendy wire. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Stay tuned. This is going to get snapped up at some point. I'm not saying that it's going to be pretty, but it'll get snapped up at some point, and I'll show you guys what it ends up looking like. I want to thank you guys all for tuning in, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.